can estimate exhaust fan flow using a DG700 and a flow box. In this segment, I will show you how to measure flows using both production and home built flow boxes. To measure exhaust fan flow using the DG700, use the default mode setting of pressure pressure. So here's our flow box and what we can do is we can fit this over an exhaust fan like we would see in a, in a bathroom. And this flow box has a, uh, a, an opening on the bottom of it and we can set that opening to uh, three different settings on this particular unit. And it also has a pressure tap here and we're going to hook up uh, one, one uh, hose from here that goes to the digital manometer. And by knowing the pressure difference across this box between the pressure inside the box when the fan is running and the pressure outside or in the, uh, in the living space, we can determine flow. Um, and to do that, we need to know the size of the opening of the box. So if we know the pressure differential and the size of the opening, we can determine uh, the fan flow. Now, once we know... Um, once we know the pressure, the pressure that we measure that will be shown on our digital manometer, we look up that pressure. We uh, here on the uh, measure or the meter pressure column, and then we look at uh, the size of the opening that we showed here, whether it's E1, E2, or E3, which corresponds to the opening of the um, the hole here on the on the bottom of the flow meter box. Uh, then we simply take our pressure, look for the the uh, hole size. And we read this, and this is uh, these numbers are given in cubic feet per minute. Now we just measured a pressure difference of uh, 2.2 pascals and we know that the, uh, the hole opening was set at E2 so we take our pre uh, measured reading of 2.2 pascals we go to the E2 opening size so we get 2.2 pascals and E2 that corresponds to a flow rate of 31 cubic feet per minute that's our measured flow rate now to verify this, we're going to change the orifice size and measure it again and see if we get a num uh, get a pr uh, pressure or excuse me get a flow rate uh, that's approximately the same. Six point two. Mm -hmm. So we just tried to verify the previous measure <clears throat> by changing the uh, orifice size, and we changed the orifice size. We uh, switch to E3, which is a smaller orifice, and we me remeasured the pressure differential. And this time, we measured a pre pressure differential of 6.2 pascals. And 6.2 pascals corresponds to a flow rate of about 25 cubic feet per minute. Now, on the previous test, uh, we measured a 2.2 pascal at an orifice size uh, set at E2 and that corresponded to a flow rate of 31 cubic feet per minute. So we're probably somewhere between 25 and 30 CFM. So let's go ahead and make our exhaust fan flow box. And we're just going to select a cardboard box that is big enough to fit over the exhaust fan diffuser and this box should be sufficient. And now we just need to cut a hole in the bottom of the box. So we're going to put a hole of a known size here and because we're measuring a bathroom fan we're going to put a 25 square inch hole in here. So we're going to go 5 inches by 5 inches. So let's go ahead and get that made and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start measuring some exhaust fan flows. So we have our box with the hole cut, 5 inches on each side, 
for a total of 25 square inches. I should emphasize that these edges of the orifice, or edges of the hole, should be sharp edged. Uh, this will ensure that we get the most accurate measurement possible. So make sure you use a, a sharp implement, like a, a utility knife, to cut, those, to cut the hole. And it's also a good idea to put some tape on the flaps on the inside of the box, just to make sure they don't interfere with some of the pressure measurements. We'll then take our digital manometer and a hose, and we're going to take take the hose and attach it to the input tap on channel A. And then on the other end of the hose, we're going to insert a uh, static pressure probe. And we'll use this then to penetrate the, the flow box. We've got a port right here. We're going to punch that in. And now we're able to measure the difference in pressure across this hole when the fan's on. And we will see that on channel A here, and we're just measuring the pressure difference. So when we turn our digital manometer on, we'll keep it on the default setting, which is pressure, pressure. So here we are in a uh, shower stall, actually, uh, up close to the ceiling where the, where the exhaust fan uh, diffuser is. So that's right here. We've got our box. Uh, we've got our probe in, in, in the port in the box. We've got our digital manometer. And all we have to do is make sure this is on the pressure pressure mode. And we're going to hold this over the orifice. And we want to make sure that our, our, our hands are away from it, but that we push on it so that we've got a fairly tight seal against the wall. And we just want to make sure that this probe is just on the inside of the box. Then we can read our measurement off the digital manometer. So here you can see we've got the box over the fan, the fan's running, and we're getting a pretty consistent 0.9 Pascal difference across that orifice. So we're going to use that 0.9 Pascal pressure drop and we're going to uh, put that into our equation that we'll see in just a moment to figure out our estimated fan flow. For this calculation, the symbol delta P refers to the measured pressure difference. This symbol indicates the square root. To calculate flow in cubic feet per minute, or CFM, you must multiply 1.06 times the whole size in square inches times the square root of the measured pressure difference. For this example, the flow is equal to 1.06 times 25 square inches times the square root of 0.9. The square root of 0 0.9 is 0 0.95. The final calculation then is 1.06 times 25 times 0 0.95, which equals 25 cubic feet per minute. This is the estimated flow through the exhaust fan.